Well, 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 another compilation. We all remember what happened last time we did this, right? Oh, yay. Who did you invite? Trump's presidency is like a dumpster fire that just won't go out. Hey, Donald, are you zesty like me? I haven't seen that many people join a Discord call in my life. It was insane. I got to meet Dr. Phil, so I was very hyped. But if you missed out on us ranking food for an hour, then it will be in the description. Dr. Phil isn't anything too special, George. He's nothing compared to my Kermie worm. You need to stop hanging around Kermit, bro. He's a bad influence around you since you started popping perks and pills with him. Listen here, Obama. Oh, shit, here Leave we go Joey again. and me alone. I'm going through a rough divorce with Miss Piggy right now, so you interrupting our menace activities is the last thing we need. Oh my gosh, it's Kermie Wormy. Hey, what's up, Kermit? I'm sorry for what's going on in your frog life, man. I hope things get better. And if get you the need... hell out of my VC. You no good, disgusting, putrid, slimy pond dweller. This amphibian will do what he wants, when he wants. I'm definitely sliding into Melania's DMs again after this to show her what this frog tongue can get do. Get Melania's name out of your disgusting toad mouth right now. Jesus Christ, Kermit, you need to chill, bro. Melania wouldn't want you anyways because you're a frog. Listen here, Kermit. I'm not going to have you tell lies about us and ruin our marriage. Don't worry, babe. Kermit is nothing but a liar. I'm not a liar. Wait, uh, Melania, since when were you in our server, sweetheart? This server is only for the boys and I. Oh, hey, Melania. How are you? What's up, Melania? Hey, Melania, can you talk some sense into Donnie, please? Come get your man. I invited myself yesterday from your gaming PC, babe. I felt left out and wanted to see what you were doing on those nights you weren't in bed with me. You know that I have tier lists to do with them. It's a very demanding job, honey. Geez, orange toupee. You're selling the bag, not being in bed with Melania. I'd hit that every night if she was my wife. I disconnected Kermit. I won't stand for that repugnant, offensive language of his. Also, honey, I invited some of my friends if you don't mind. Who did you invite? Don't tell me you invited. George, get your butt out of here, Dagnabbit. Oh, no, sorry, You're sorry. still grounded from when I found your vapes and joints. Hey, Joey, honey, uh, did you get your diaper changed yet? Oh, not here, Or do please. you need me to change it for you? Barack, you better not be doing any drugs in here or oh, else I'm gonna woman. find out and whoop some ass. Uh, I thought you said I was off the hook, darling. I promise I haven't vaped since then. I swear, pumpkin. Oh, come on. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends, sweetie. Uh, you, you can change it later, okay? Ah, uh, hell, don't worry about me, Michelle. Just let me get faded in peace. Hey, since all of us first ladies are here together, we should kick the boys out and make our own tier list. Honestly, it's about damn time we have some control in this hoe. Ooh, that sounds like a fun time, ladies. I would love that. But someone needs to babysit Joey if we do that. Melania, honey, all you beautiful ladies can't just take over our server like that. It's our Discord for- Wait, what happened to Donald? Where did he go? George is grounded again. I'm gonna have a word with him later. Now, now, Michelle, you better not get any smart ideas to dis- Where did all my friends go? Who disconnected all of them? We all did, so that means bye-bye, Joey. I love you. Sorry, not sorry. Wait, wait, change my diaper. Now that it's just us ladies, why don't we start the compilation? Ah, yes, let's do this. Enjoy Barack being the pothead and exceptional man he Enjoy is. Enjoy George being the kind-hearted and compassionate man he is, even though he's sneaky with his vapes. Enjoy Joey being the sleepiest and oldest man he is. And finally, enjoy Donald being the funniest and fearless man he is. If you want us to return for a video, let us know in the comments and enjoy the compilation. Let me tell you, when I smoke one too many with Snoop, these are the first chips that I steal from 7-Eleven when the cashier has his back turned. First you're a washed up celebrity and now you're a thief. All your fans should be disappointed in you, Kermit the Thief. Hey man, all that Muppets money ran out so I gotta get food somehow. Kermit, I know you have some good left in you. If you need a job, you can be one of my secret servicemen. Or rather, secret service frog. Hey, 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 no, he's going to be my secret service frog, not yours. I'll just be your secret service frog for both of you guys, okay? So let's just not fight here. Good luck having that old croak work for you. Drake threw me off when he said 21. Can you do something for me? Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Drizzy. Hey fellas, heard someone mention my silly willy 21 silly and I willy? just had to join. Drake, did you just say silly willy? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, he is such a silly willy billy. What? He always had me giggling in oh the my. studio after our tickle fights. What? What the hell? If you say one more zesty thing, you're out of here, Aubrey. Holy guacamole, Donnie Bonnie, what's with all this hostility? Donnie Bonnie? What? Trumpy one, can you do some for me? Nope, not having it. Hey, did you just kick Drizzy out the voice chat? Yes, George. Him and 21 will not be doing their thing in here. Let's just move on. I'm putting Drake on the goat tier. Personally, I don't really have a very good history with rappers. Uh, specifically Kanye. George Bush doesn't care about black people. I, I do care about black people, I swear. No, you don't. Damn it, I swear I'd do, Obama. Yeah, sure, George. Let's just go ahead and start this list. Ja belongs ja? in at least the great tier for that longevity. Did you really just call him Ja? He don't know you, little bro. Actually, I do know, little bro. What the hell? Yeah, so you better shut the fuck up before I raise out my grave and slap you in your shit. I'll turn you into some fucking orange juice, bitch. I, I, I. 
How the hell did he join? I thought he died. Legends never die. X is not a legend, Joe. Uh, I don't know, Donald. As for these sour cream and onion lays, it doesn't get any better than this. Especially the salt and vinegar lays. Vinegar what? The f*** did you just no. say? Yeah, what no, in no, God's no, no, name no. just came out of your f***ing mouth? I'm about to whoop you upside your head with a coat hanger, biatch. You know what? F*** you guys. Wow, you guys made him leave. Poor Joe was just telling you guys his favorite flavor of Lay's. He say that I'm good enough to have a mother to think hey, about yo. shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell Joe, him are you listening to Ice Spice? Yeah, I'm listening to Ice Spice. Can you turn that shit off, Joe? All right, all right. Jesus. Oh, you a munch, huh, Joe? Yeah, I'm a munch. I mean, have you seen that dump truck on her? Did someone say munch? No way you're a munch too, George. Sorry, G, that boy's a liar track is just too fire. I mean, she's the best rapper out right now. No way you said she's the best rapper right now. I mean, she do got that wagon on her, but 21 is easily the hottest right now. Drake absolutely clears 21. Of course, you'd think Drake's zesty ass is better than 21. 21. Can you do something for me? Oh, I love that song. Can you Can hit, you a, hit little a little rich, rich flex, flex for me? me? Jesus Christ. George, aren't you supposed to be grounded from all those vapes and weed your wife found on you? I was, but my two weeks are up and I found a new stash spot for my Zaza. I'm chilling now, baby. Oh, nice. I wonder who he told to join the VC with us, though. He said they'll put Donald in his place, and I would love to see that. No one can put me in any place, aside the place of the President of the United... Well, well, huh? well, if it isn't the orange face wanker himself... What? Donald Trump, I see that you've banned my dear friend Joe. Yep, you sure did. Banning the President from this Discord is the most shameful thing you could do. For real? I've seen goddamn mouldy bread with more clust than you. Oh, shit, let him cook. You're about as useful as a chocolate teapot. What? And your hair looks like a bird's nest after a hurricane. Damn. The chef is cooking. I wouldn't even trust you to cook a fucking pot noodle, let alone run a country. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. You're the biggest wanker I've ever had the displeasure of meeting. You and serious? that's saying something considering the amount of tosses I've dealt with in the kitchen. Oh, so you really join my VC to disrespect me like that? Yeah, mate. Well, I'll be the first to tell you that you're not a chef. What? You're just a glorified cafeteria cook that creates failure right. after failure, yeah. living their sad, sad life. Right. You're nothing but a washed up, overrated loudmouth yeah, who's made yeah, a career sure, out mate. of being a pretentious prick. I've seen more talent in a can of dog food than I've ever seen in you. Right. Well, listen here, mate. Why don't you take these stupid Debbie snacks and shove them up your All ass? right, chill, chill. This is getting out of hand, fellas. You two have had your own piece of each other, so why don't we leave it as is and move on? Donald's a real Muppet if I've ever seen one. You're lucky we're not face to face, you plonker. Let me tell you something, pal. Your insults are as overcooked as your beef Wellingtons. What? I've seen better comebacks from a microwave dinner. All right, guys, even though I'd love to see the both of you fight, we still have a tier list to finish. Next we have- Wait, are you guys making a tier list without me? Why didn't any of you tell me you were in VC making a- Oh my God, is that really Kermit the Frog? Kermy, 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 Kermy. What are you doing here? I'm a big fan. Shut up, Joey. You're the one that invited him to do this with us. I can't stand your damn dementia. How do you have less brain cells than John F. Kennedy? What are you talking about, Barry? I just got here, so don't come at me with your nonsense. But I remember when I was just a wee little kid, I would watch the Muppets every day, and Kermy was always my favorite. Can y'all just shut up and get on with the next bag of chips? I want to get the hell out of here. Quit being such a party pooper, Trump. Joey is obviously obsessed with me, so let him have his moment. Shut up, you toad. He had his moment when he had the government rig our election back in 2020. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Joey. That's a bitch move just to win because you knew Trump was better than you. Barack and Donald, you need to chill out before I get Kim Jong-un on y'all. Leave my friend alone and stop hurting his feelings. Thank you for sticking up for me, Kermy. I'm getting tired of this. Oh, what a surprise. Sleepy Joe's tired again. Man, fuck this. I'm going to sleep. Oh, not again. <laughs> Damn it. We lost him. How are we supposed to wake him up? Hold up. I got an idea. Uh... Oh, what? Is that chocolate chocolate chip ice cream? Haha, <laughs> got him. What the fuck, Obama don't play like that? You know I'm a fiend for the chocolate chocolate chip. Had to wake your sleepy ass up. It's time to rank these Fortnite weapons. This gun was amazing. What the actual fuck are you smoking on, Joe? Uh, are you high? That shit was trash. You already know I'm smoking on that Bhutanese Shadow Garden Dark Nefarious Evil Sorcerer Moongrass Pack. Huh? What the hell? Ah, oh, shit. My bad. You valid, my boy. Just forget what I said. What the fuck, Joe? Didn't I say no more smoking that Zaza in the VC? You can't remember anything after smoking that shit. Don't forget this fucker already has dementia. Smoking that za ain't gonna do him any good at all. No, 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 did you hear me? This here isn't just any za. I said this, that shadow garden, dark, nefarious, evil sorcerer, moongrass pack. The fuck you know about that necromancer, Kush Donald? God damn, this nigga's spitting.
I know all about that necromancer Kush. That nigga put me on back when he was my VP and I haven't looked back since. I don't give a single fuck of what kind of za you potheads are smoking on. Gordon Ramsay's food is fake news. You what, mate? Are you taking the piss? Yes, I am. Damn. Wow, you're a proper fucking nutter. Listen here. Your taste buds are like those of a kindergartner. You literally eat McDonald's, blimey. Maybe I'll have to fetch you a happy meal complete with a toy to appease you, dickhead. Gordon, I'm a very smart man for not spending money on a bunch of overpriced food. Why do that when you can get a Big Mac for just a few bucks? Did you just say you're smart, Donald? Ha, are you guys hearing this load of bullocks? You're just about as smart as a bag of rocks. What's with all these British words? Just speak normal English, you obnoxious snob. Donald, please don't start another argument with Gordon. Let me try calling Joey so he can join back and take Gordon's spot. Come on, Joe. Hey, Joey, you there, man? We really need you to replace. Bruh, what? Is that old geezer snoring? Bruh, how the hell did he answer the phone while asleep? Ha! I'm definitely gonna win the election at this rate. Well, it looks like he's out for the night, boys. Zip it, Phil. The only thing you can't handle and will never get is billions in your bank account. Again, you bitch. Money can't buy motherfucking happiness. How many goddamn times do I have to say this shit over and over for it to be implanted in your incompetent walnut-sized brain? I swear, these politicians get dumber and dumber every oh, year. Oh, please, Dr. Phil. You think you know everything about happiness? You're just a glorified talk show host. I built an empire. I made billions. And I've got the best life money can buy. You don't know Jack about what makes people happy. Money can buy happiness. It bought me a beautiful wife, a gold-plated toilet, and the presidency of the United States. What more could a man want? You know what? Fuck you. Fuck your hair. Fuck this tier list. Fuck your money. Fuck your Discord server. Just fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, that was unexpected. I thought Dr. Phil was supposed to be a therapist, changing people's lives and all that. Now he's just cussing us out like a sailor. I don't think I've ever heard that many F-bombs in a row before. As a matter of fact, I'm telling Miss Piggy about all of this. No, the hell you aren't. If you do, I'm about to tell Melania what this frog tongue can do. What did you just say, Kirby? I, I, and I where have you been? I've been waiting for you to pick me up. It's already 7.30 and we're late for our date. Uh, oh, Get off no, of your no. PC right now and come pick me up or I will beat the shit no, out no, of you. No, no, don't hit me, please. Since you're here, Miss Piggy, I got something to tell you. Here we Has go again. Kermit told you what Sleepy Joe and him did with my wife last night? Your wife? I just what? found out that Melania has been having back problems and it's because of Kermit over here. Damn, Trump, you're turning into 6 9 with all this snitching. What is wrong with you? Donald, I swear you're a rat. You look like that. a rat. Miss Piggy, he is lying. It was only me that did all of that to Melania. No, not no, Kermie. I don't care. This isn't the first time I caught Kermie cheating. Shut He's up, Pete. He's hopping on very thin ice right now. Good. Kermit needs to learn a lesson and get what he deserves. Don't listen to Joey over here. He has dementia. Oh, Trump, you done f***ed up now. I'ma really beat your ass if I ever see you in public. Oh, really? Now, Kermie, you're threatening him when you're the one that cheated on me just so you could shag some skank? I, we've been together for 50 damn years, and yeah, this 50 abusive is what years. you do to me? As a matter of fact, that I'm gonna go mess with Animal, since he's more of an animal Wait, in bed what, than you no, are. No, you fat pig, put some respect Don't on my dare wife's call me name. Fat. She isn't a skank, she just likes to experiment. You, that's I don't gross. know why she would choose Joey and that dumbass green frog. Hey, I'm not dumb. But at the end of the day, she isn't a skank and your husband cheated on you. Now, take your little bitch of a frog and get your asses out of my Discord. Hey, hey, why did you disconnect them both? Look, Donnie, I didn't want to partake in the shagging, all right? I was supposed to just be the camera, man, but Kermie threw some Perk 30s in my cup without me realizing, and I got sleepy and I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry, man. Please don't hate me. Damn, man. Kermit really is messed up in the head. I should text Dr. Phil to get Kermit on his show and get him the help he needs. It's all right, Joey. I'm not mad. However, now that that little pond dweller is gone, let's get back to this tier list and get it done before he can join back. Where are we even at with this list? Tier. Shut your mouth, Donald. You slob all over Mike Pence's... God damn you, Trump. You just ruined my marriage of 50 years and now we're getting a divorce. Now I'll have to go get a job again since I won't have the money from Miss Piggy's OnlyFans anymore. Is that really you, Kermie? I missed you. They were bullying me while you were gone. Oh, shut up, you fossil. No one was bullying you. We were just speaking facts and you got all up in your feels. I have a date with Janice tonight, so please, uh, let's hurry it up and finish this tier list so I can beat the Doonies down. All right, whatever you tadpole. No wonder why you're broke, Joe. You hang out with that washed up toad and waste all your money on those drugs. Hey, Kermit isn't a toad, he's a frog, okay? And he just needs a friend since Miss Piggy and him are going through a divorce. Wait, what the hell, Joey? You're hanging out with Kermit? Like THE Kermit? Hey-ho, Kermit the Frog here. From the Muppets? 
Since when was this a thing? Bruh, is Joe's dementia contagious? Because I already told you about Kermit. It's a complete shit show with them two. Joe started popping perks and sipping lean because of him. I thought Kermit was a star and a very successful man. Oh, I mean a successful frog. What the hell happened to Kermit? Who cares about Kermit and his sad, sad amphibian life? He's just a stupid fake- You wanna Kermit. finish that sentence, Hair Force One? Damn, This toad. amphibian will beat your ass what and show Melania what this tongue can do. Kermit, they were bullying me again. Can you please kick Trump's ass for me? Stop with your fake news, Sleepy Joe. No one was bullying your sorry ass. Hey, hey. What's up, Kermit? I was hearing that you've been really going through it lately, huh? Don't worry, Joey. I'll kick the orange's ass later. But what's good, Mr. Yeehaw? I heard some pretty crazy things about you that apparently you're a big fan of making Jenga towers fall. What? Oh, shit. Huh, you know what? I actually might be able to tolerate Kermit. Did you really just say that, Kermit? Why does everybody always bring that up? Just stop it. Please. Maybe it's because that's what everybody ever remembers about you, Georgie. Sorry, man, I just had to do it to you. Don't be sorry, that was a good one, my little Kermy Wormy. But like you said earlier, George, I really have been going through it lately. I lost all my Muppets money because of Trump. Wait, what? Wait, Kermit, you knew Donnie back then? What the hell? You best not say a word about what we're both thinking right now, Kermit. At this point, I have nothing to lose. I knew him back in the day during my tadpole days and I trusted him with my money since he's a businessman, right? Oh no, Kermy, why would you do that? I think I know where this is going. Yeah, I know, Joey, but I gave Orange Toupee control of the Muppets funds and little did I know that he ended up using all of our money to fund his projects like building flamboyant, flashy casinos that went bankrupt and buying a shit ton of hair gel. Then all of us Muppets were left with absolutely nothing. Well, that's all your fault, Kermit. You didn't read the fine print in the contracts properly, did you? You should have never given me all your money, you damn pond dweller. Bro, he's a damn frog. For Christ's sake, Donnie. What's he supposed to do? Oh my gosh, Kermit, that sounds terrible, man. I mean, frog, if I might ask, what happened next? Well, I had to get creative. I went around to all of the other Muppets and asked them to chip in. Miss Piggy gave me her entire collection of pearls. Gonzo sold his prized collection of toilet plungers. Huh? And Fozzie even gave me his lucky banana peel. A collection of toilet plungers? What the hell? Yeah, even I don't know, man, but we were able to scrape together enough money to keep us afloat, but that still wasn't enough, so we had to make some, uh, sacrifices. Sacrifices? Wait, did you have to kill your Muppet friends? No, don't be ridiculous, Joey. Back when we performed at kids' birthday parties, we'd steal their birthday cards to jack all the money inside them and also force the parents to give us their credit cards. We raked in bands from those chumps. Jesus, Kermit. So not only are you a junkie, but you're a thief too? I'm calling the FBI right now to catch your little No, no. Why did you have to bring up the FBI? Donald, you know Kermit doesn't like it when we talk about the feds. They've been after him for the past 10 years. Yeah, isn't he on the FBI's most wanted list? Do I look like I care? I'm glad he hopped away from my VC. Man, I feel bad for Kermit. He really has been through a lot. Man, I was gonna ask Kermit for some money to help pay off my college tuition. But I guess I can't anymore. It hits just right. The sweetness of the filling is perfectly counterbalanced by the slightest bit of saltiness of the cookie, creating the perfect combination of sweet and savory. Sounds like you all are describing Melania's Huh? I'm just trying to enjoy talking about food and Joe's ruining it. I banned him from the server. Wait, what? Yo, why did you do that? Unban him right now, Donnie. You're a hypocrite, Barack. If that was Michelle's name he brought up, you would have banned him too and sent a damn drone strike over to him. No, I wouldn't have. I would only do that to you, not Joe. Damn, look at Barack being a sleepy Joe meat rider. And look at you being a dumbass for banning our friend from our server. I'm unbanning and inviting him back. Whose phone is that? Not mine. It's Joey calling me. I'm going to answer, so all of you shut up. Barack, what happened to the server? Why is it gone for me? Sorry, bro. Donald banned you from our server, but we'll get you back. I got you. What? Why? Man, why's Donald got to be such a bitch? You know what? I don't want to join back right now. I'm going to text a friend of mine to join and put Trump in his place. Text a friend to join? No, Joe. Just come back. We need to finish this tier list with you. No. Donald ruined it for me, and I think he has. You've got to be kidding me. No way he fell asleep mid-sentence. That's classic Joe for you. Jesus. How can a human fall asleep that easily and that damn much? Now we have a damn raccoon to rank next, and let me just say out of everybody in the MCU, this rodent probably has the least chance of survival in a one-on-one -on -one situation with anybody at the god tier. Hey man, he's not just a raccoon. Give him some credit because he has enhanced reflexes, agility, intelligence, and a lot of firepower in his disposal. George, I'm sorry to tell you, but you can't defend a raccoon against literal gods and superhumans. Stop yabbing on about your nerd talk towers. He's going to awful. Boy, let me tell you what. When Kermy slips me in them 30s, these are my go-to snack. 
I could eat $1,000 worth of them if it really came down to what it. What the hell, Joey? Why are you suddenly getting into these opioids now? This is why you never meet your idols, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to want to do everything they do. Hey, you don't know nothing, Barack. Leave us alone and let us get wasted in peace. Uh, but these hot Cheeto puffs are amazing, but my little frog tongue can't handle the heat. Uh, there is way too much spice and salt on these, and we all know salt and amphibians don't mix well together. Hey, Joey, are we hanging out tonight? I got a new bong if you want to try it out with me. I've been so lonely recently, I have no smoking buddies. Yeah, of course, Kermy. I have to experiment more and have fun before my time's up. The FBI are on their way. Oh no, I'm out. I'm gonna take a nap before I head to Kermit Swamp. I'm gonna go buy Michelle a new purse from Goodwill. Why am I always the last one in VC? I heard you want to build a wall around the bikini bottom. Listen here, buddy. Stay the fuck away from my home. What is wrong with your voice? I think you're going to make me go deaf. I bet if you saw Gary, you'd try to grab him by the shell. Yeah, your rap takes are automatically invalid, Joe. Straight what? Up. What the fuck? Where the hell did he come from? Huh? What the hell? Why is he talking in auto tune? Yeah, turn that off. Shit's annoying. No. What the hell? Are you serious? Shut the fuck up, Travis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just tell the flame to shut up like that. Yes, I can, Barack. He joined this Discord uninvited. He's ruining my vibe with him in his auto tune. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Oh, that's tough. Damn push. it. He really hit an ad lib on you and Dip. They need to free my boy, Gunner. Joe, Gunner is free. Thugger is still locked up, though. Oh, free Thugger then. Joe, ain't you the president? Why don't you just pardon Thug, just like Donald pardoned Lil Wayne? Oh, right. I am the president. Wow, that, that's amazing. Jesus, looks like Joe forgot that he's president again. I'm the president? Anyways, uh, George, what are your thoughts on Lil Baby? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too big on Lil Baby. I'm low-key scared of dogs. Dogs? Huh? Lil Baby isn't a dog. He sure does look like one, though. The fucker looks like he's about to bite me. Come on, George. Lil Baby just got that dog in him, that's all. Y'all are just a bunch of haters. Gucci Gang is a hood classic. In what hood is Gucci Gang a classic? In my hood. You and your hood are not valid, Joe. Lil Pump's going trash tier. Kanye is very influential, but I don't know if he deserves goat tier after what he said about Hitler. Shut the fuck up, George. Oh, you shit. definitely don't care about black people if you think I don't belong in the goat tier. Max. I am a creative genius. My music has changed the game and set the standard for what hip hop can be. I'm definitely a goat. Right, Matter right. of fact, I'm a god. Kanye, I promise I care about black people. You know what? Yeah, I'll put you on goat tier, Mr. West. Exactly where I belong. Oh, Kanye, Kanye, do you think I can get some free tickets for your next show? I've always wanted to see you live. You know, I've always wanted to see myself live too. It's one of my biggest pains, the fact that I will never get to see myself perform live. But I got you, Joe. Yes, yes, I finally get to see Yeezy live. Yay. All right, I'm out of here. I gotta get back to the Sunday service. Yay, 2024. Ha, I don't know what Kanye's smoking, but he's definitely not living in reality if he thinks he can beat me in 2024. Uzi has really pushed the boundaries of what's acceptable in terms of style and self-expression. If you call pushing boundaries wearing a woman's shirt, I don't want any part of it. Come on, Donald. It's only just one bad fit. Oh, really? Then what the hell was this? Oh, he looks shit. like a damn skull trooper from Fortnite. Oof. Hey, we're not here to rank Uzi's fits. Put her at GOAT. No further discussion needed. Facts. You're fucking tripping, Joe. You want me to put Ice Spice next to Drake, Kendrick, and Ye? Hell no. Listen here, Obunga. Ice Spice should actually be a tier above all those bozos. What? Ice Spice is worse than Obamacare, Joe. You for real? Talk down on Obamacare one more time and I'll send a fucking drone strike to your house. I'll send a nuke to your doorstep, Barack. Both of you shut up. You do not have access to nukes anymore, Donald. I got the big red button on my desk right now. Don't make me press it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, chill out, Joey. Chill. Yeah, what the hell? You really gonna nuke us over Ice Spice? Yeah, I will. Jesus, let's just compromise, Joe. I'll put her at mid-tier. Yeah, no nukes, Joe. Let's all just chill. Fine. No lower than mid, though. She deserves trash tier, but I'll let it slide. Instant trash tier. Oh, come on now, Donald. Just like I said about Cardi, it's about the emotion and energy with Yeet. Not the lyricism. Exactly. When Yeet said, be body stizzle, de bizzle, de be body lambe, de be bada birdie, you put like get the be body burr. I felt that. I really did. What? What the fuck did you just say, Joe? Some Yeet lyrics. Here, listen, guys. Be body stizzle, de bizzle, de be body lambe, de be bada burr. Had to put up like a Yankee in London, my shanky, de be bada burr. Bruh. What the fuck did I just listen to? Yeah, what the hell was that? It's Yeet, my boy. Yeah, that shit's fire. I don't know what the hell you guys are smoking on, but I'm gonna need some if y'all think that shit's fire. I ain't smoking on shit, but my boy Yeet did slip me a few 30s earlier. What? There's no shot you know Twizzy. Yeah, he picked me up in his Tonka truck earlier and passed me a turban. I had to put that shit on. What the hell? 
Why are you wearing turbans, Joe? Because Yeet wears one. You're an expert dick rider, Joe. Hop off of Yeet. Eminem, isn't that the guy from 8 Mile? Bro, what? Yeah, 8 Mile. You know, the mom's spaghetti vomit on his sweater already guy. No way you just said that. Joe, stop acting like you don't know Eminem. Just ignore him. Eminem is obviously a goat. But we should definitely find someone to replace Bush for today. Well, I think I might have someone who can fill in for him today. Let me just give him a quick ring. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Contacts, right? Let's see, let's see. Hmm, where is he? Ah, uh, there we go, Ben. Come on, come on, pick up, Ben. Hello, Ben speaking. Hey, Ben, it's Joey. Joey Biden. Oh, wow, Mr. President, what an honor. How could I possibly assist you today? Well, Ben, I hear you're quite the Minecraft expert. I was hoping you could hop on Discord and make a tier list with me and the boys. Uh Data, uh, what kind of data? Block drop rates, mob spawn frequencies, biome diversity, and NBT values, just to name a few. I'll have it all ready in no time. Ben, stop being a fucking nerd and just hop on Discord. What an absolute nerd. Uh, I'm not sure if I want him to join. Don't worry, guys. Ben's cool. Just be nice. Hello, everyone. What is everyone up to today? Oh, nothing. Was just hearing how much of a fucking Minecraft nerd you oh, are. Damn it. Donald, I'll have you know. Being an astute Minecraft expert is nothing to be ashamed of. Whatever you say, nerd. Do not call me a nerd. It's not my fault you can't keep up with my superior intellect. Why is it that every time I share my vast, intricate knowledge on Minecraft, people just never want to hear it? I mean, it's a kid's game, and you're damn near 40, Ben. But I reserve the right to be pedantic later on. What the fuck does that even mean? Pedantic means like a pedant, someone who's concerned with literal accuracy. Shut the fuck up! God! Why does this always happen to me? It's like no one respects me or my thoughts. Maybe I'm not meant to be in this group. Maybe I'm not meant to have friends. God, why do I have to endure this humiliation? Why? Don't care. Didn't ask plus ratio, plus L, plus facts. Don't care about your feelings, nerd. What facts are you even talking about? The fact that you get no bitches. So I think it definitely deserves a spot in God tier. Oh, God, I hate even just hearing this nerd speak. Come on, Donald, give the guy a break. At least he knows more about Minecraft than you do. Yeah, Donald, you're probably more of a Roblox guy, right? Hey, I'll have you know that I'm very successful in Roblox. I've got billions and billions of Robux, believe me. I don't believe him. Fuck you, Ben. Biden, Trump's hurting my feelings. Tell him to take that back immediately. Uh, I don't really give a fuck, Ben. But, but you were the one who invited me to this server. You're a grown-ass man, Ben. You can stand up for yourself. Yeah, you're a grown man. Let's see you cook. All right, then. Let him cook. Fine, then. Um, uh, you... You smell bad, Trump. Jesus. That's a yikes for me. Who let this man cook? Do not ever let Ben cook ever again. All right, all right. Moving on. What do you guys think about the hoe? Hey, I know a thing or two about hoes. <laughs> I highly doubt that, Joe. You've never farmed a day in your life. Oh, I wasn't talking about farming, Donnie. No, you definitely do not have any hoes, Joe. Excuse me? I'll have you know, I bag bitches left and right. Some of my homies even call me the Rizzler. No shot. Fake news. No one has ever called you the Rizzler. Nah. He ain't lying, Donald. I've actually seen him riz up a few baddies on multiple different occasions, believe it or not. Told y'all I wasn't lying, but those days are long behind me because these hoes be trifling nowadays. Can we just get back to ranking these tools? Sorry I'm late, guys. I had a hair sniffing appointment that ran a bit long. The hell? Classic Joe. You always have an excuse. Hey, at least I'm not the one who lost the election. Joe, you best believe I'll be taking your spot in 2024. More like awful tear, just like Dreams music. Hey, not cool, man, but speaking of awful things, why don't you take off that bird's nest of a wig you got on? And why don't you take off that mask, huh? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Come on, take it off. Yeah, let's see that face. Don't pressure him, guys. Uh, fine then. Dream. Hi. Oh God! What the Put fuck? it back on. Put it back on. Damn, that nigga look like Rumpelstiltskin. Why does he look like that? Hey, Dream looks like a completely normal person. Stop that. Good riddance. Hey, where did he go? I didn't get to say bye. I disconnected him. Couldn't handle the sight of him. That's not very nice. Dream's a good guy, Donald. I don't care. I can't stand him. Just like Ben. Yeah, I could do without him, honestly. Let's. But well, we got another chicken place to rank raising canes. Did somebody say chicken? What's up, bro? Where you been? It's been months since we chilled. You hang out with him too? What the hell, Kanye? Whose side are you on? I invited you to the White House to now be disrespected. I'm on nobody's side. I'm still running for president too. And I'll be a damn better president than you will ever be. You know what, Kanye? 
Maybe you should stick to making mediocre music and leave politics to the professionals. Mediocre music, n***a? Have you heard 808s and Heartbreaks and Graduation? They're masterpieces. Oh, yeah, I've heard them. They're the perfect cure for insomnia. Hop off my n***a, yeah, and hop on a fucking treadmill. Thank you, Barack. This is why us black folks got to stick together. We can accomplish so many achievements, and both of us will be the greatest leaders that the country has ever seen. I already know I'm one of the best, but I'll be even better by being the first black man to walk on Mars. Mark my words. Yeah, and I'll be the first one to build a wall around it. Holy crap, guys, can we just stop fucking around and rank canes? As a matter of fact, I'm putting it at God tier since I love it personally, and I don't even gotta ask Kanye or Obama what they think about it. You see, this is what's wrong with the country when you put a dinosaur that's going to extinct soon in office. Shut your mouth, Kanye. You are a very troubled man, and you can give back my Make America Great Again hat since you're wearing it is disrespecting my name. I don't care. Take it back, and don't forget you're not the only billionaire in here. Fat then it's starting to get annoying now. Let's just talk about goddamn food. Wait, are you talking about Sonic the Hedgehog? Really now, Kanye? And you see, folks, this is the man that wants to run your country. He's as brainless as a scarecrow. Oh, I don't want to hear it. You have the intellectual capacity of a fucking rock, you imbecile. And he will be brainless not to put Sonic at God tier, especially with those chili cheese tots and coney dogs. Opinions on Whataburger, then. Please. Whataburger is definitely overrated. Their burgers are just okay, and the fries are mediocre at best. You know, I heard that Obama actually banned Whataburger from the White House. That's not true, Donnie. I was just starting a diet with Michelle. I gotta say, the spicy ketchup is pretty good, but other than that, it's just another fast food joint. George would be fuming at you if he heard you say that. He's from Texas and loves this place to death. Wait, what the hell are you doing? Shut you tell me you're calling Wait, George. Wait, is he calling him? Now, who in God's name is disrespecting oh, my beloved uh, Whataburger? Uh, Whataburger uh, is a Texas treasure, and if you're f with Whataburger, then you're f***ing with me, pal. Who f***ing snitched on me? Who the f*** is the rat here? And it you know what, me, George? So. Yes, yeah, I stand by what I say. Whataburger is mid as hell. Donald, put me closer to your headset so I can hear. Donald texted me and told me that you said it was the worst fast food place you ever had and that you were going to shut down all locations. All this drama over a fast food place? You guys really need God in your life. Yeah, they really need some therapy. As a matter of fact, Wait, I know who I'm going to text. Is that Kanye that I hear? Tell him I said what's popping my Jeep. Let him know I was just listening to niggas in Paris driving back home. Wait, who was, was in, in Paris? Paris? George, George, what the, what the fuck, fuck did you just, just say? say? What? Oh, no. It's the name of the song? Come on, guys, just let it slide this one Bro, time. I didn't nah, mean it like that. Come no, on, why no, did no. you say that, George? George really messed up now. Nah, George, you can't be saying things like that, bro. Think before you nah. speak. Because nah, it's certainly bro, one of the bro, reasons swear, why you're not I'm, president anymore. This yeehaw ass nigga is about to get an ass whooping next time I pull up in Texas. I dare you to say that to my face, Kanye. As a matter of fact, hold on. George just hung up? What the hell? Good, I think he's backing off. What a little bitch. You know what, Kanye? Hell no. Your music. Here we go. We all know Drake and Cardi B make better music than you. The hell? Your music is about He's as enjoyable right, as a root canal without anesthesia. Bro, what? Your beats are about as fresh as a dumpster behind Jesus. a derating seafood restaurant that local food inspectors lost their sense of smell and vision from the putrid Bro, stench that lingered nah, into their eyes and nah, nose. Nah, I don't give a damn what you think about my music because, quite frankly, you didn't give a damn about the country when you were too busy reading My Pet Goat. <laughs> Everyone knows oh, my, my music is a cultural movement. What the hell have you ever done that's cultural? Uh, Leave I, uh, this call now, George. Uh, uh. Hello, anyone there? My bad, bro. Where did he go? Casual George always backing away from fights. Now this is entertainment at its finest. I'm glad he's gone because I just lost all my brain cells from hearing him speak. We have checkers or some people know it as rallies. It's a greasy mess that shouldn't exist. What? what? This, this is, is my go-to go spot, spot when, when I, I get, get faded, faded than a hoe. Wait, Wait yours, yours too? too? I think we just had a bro moment. I think you really are my nigga for life. Man, I wish I could have a friend like that. Everybody that I thought was my friend back in elementary school always ended up bullying me for my stutter. <laughs> they would make fun of my overalls, give me wedgies while wearing them, and Holy crap, turning Joe. my underwear into the straps instead. Oh, wow. Then they would what? shove me in lockers on okay, the- Okay, we get it, Sleepy Joe. You're boring me. Time. Hey, uh, Why the hell are you back I here? I just wanted to uh, apologize for, for talking down on your music, Kanye. I actually do think your old music at least was very impactful and some of the best. You know what, Mr. Bush? I accept your apology. You're all good, bro. We all can get mad in the moment, but we have to forgive because it's an act of love and mercy. God always forgives us. 
and thou shalt repent from our sins to seek salvation. Thank you, Mr. Kanye West, for forgiving me. And don't worry, I won't ever say that word again. Well, why don't you shut up about that? I didn't come here for a goddamn sacrament meeting at church. Don't you dare use the Lord's name in vain. You know what, Donald? I think you really do need God in your life since we all know you're a sinner and a liar. Yeah, Donald's the biggest capper I know. Is it really that easy to tell I lie? I'm good at hiding it. Since you all certainly didn't know, I wasn't the one who texted Bush about over-exaggerating Biden's opinion on Whataburger. What the heck, Donald? Bro, there's no way. Oh, what the hell? So you're telling me that Biden had nothing to do with this? Who is the snitch and damn rat that told Bush? It probably was six... Six nine motherfuckers. You know, about this whole situation, Donald said he'd wire transfer me $500,000 no, if no, no. I told Bush this was Biden on a new number and what? make up some bullshit about Whataburger Why? being ass. There is no way, Donald. Come on. What the hell, Donald? Why did you do this to me? Yeah, I had a feeling it was 6 9 Who else could the rat be? Hey, shut the fuck up, Kanye. You still owe me a feature, you puta. Your management told me they were gonna hit me up, and they never did. The fuck is that about you lying and shit? Your management team are a bunch of pendejos. Peta a la mierda, Kanye. Tus estúpidos. Zapatos de payaso, Yeezy. What the fuck? did he just say? What did he say? Only speak English before I build that wall. You did not just cuss me out in Spanish, Nick. Boys, cool it. Can we stop fighting over petty shit? As a matter of fact, I texted someone that I know will help you whiny brats out. Oh no, did you seriously invite Dr. Listen here, you bitches. If y'all can't stop bickering and fighting like a couple of coked up squirrels, you're gonna end up with more bad blood than a vampire's wet dream. I need all of you to sit down, pop a molly, drink a cold glass of sweet tea and talk your issues out, then boom, problem solved. See, I told you he can help. Who the hell are you, you ball puta? Get out of here, you're help, like Dr. Who Phil. do you think you are, Dr. Phil? You're not even Phil. a licensed Get out psychiatrist. Of here. You're fake news, Dr. Phil. Fake, fake news. Why don't you all do me a favor and shut up? I'm trying to make all of your lives better, and this is what I get. I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. Anyways, f*** all of you and bye. You guys really messed that one up. Hot damn. Now, I don't care. Dr. Phil is just as relevant as a dial-up modem. Y'all niggas are just as lame, too, so bye. Did he just pull a George and say that? Oh, f*** off, Barry. He's definitely not getting that feature from me. I'm going to tell my management to keep ghosting his ass. We wasted so much time bickering that I forgot what we're even doing. I think you got that confused with your dementia, Sleepy Joe. But let's finish this stupid list. You want a masterpiece, you come to one of my rallies. Those are like works of art. I've fallen asleep at every single one of your boring ass rallies. Ain't no one want to see you in real life because they'll go blind from the reflective shine coming from your orange spray tan. You do got a point. One time I bought a cute puppy for Michelle and the kids and when Trump came over, the dog looked at him then started acting up and whimpering and started running into walls. I took him to the vet and they said he was blind for life. Donnie's orange spray tan ain't no joke and contagious as hell. That's all fake news, fake damn news. Yeah, that chocolate chip cookie sure as hell f***ed you more than Melania. Melania is mid anyways. When I was with Kim, I had the baddest bitch on the planet. Kim is overrated and has been used more than a printer on tax season. Whoa, whoa, chill the hell out, Bro, Donald. calm your old ass down and don't talk about females like that. Have some respect, you deformed Cheeto face toupee wearing baboon. Says the one who looks like Alvin and the chipmunks with their mouths stuffed with all the nuts they can ever have. But respect? What do you know about respect, Mr. West? Last time I checked, you were busy making a fool of yourself on social media. And as for Kim, we all know why she's famous. Everyone on this earth has seen that infamous video of hers where she- Donald, that's enough. We're here to talk about pizza, not Kim Kardashian. So calm the now, hell down. Now, now, this clown really bought to catch this fade right after this VC. Jesus, I'm scared to even talk now. I, I don't want to be roasted. Speaking more on Pizza Hut, though, the only thing I really like is the stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed? Kim Kardashian would know a thing or two about- Bro, please, please stop. Oh, but don't aggravate yay. Let's just finish this damn tier list and not talk crap 24-7. I'm holding back so much right now. But it's okay. God will guide me like he always does, just like guiding me to put Pizza Hut at God tier. I don't know why we're even ranking Panda Express. It's made in China, and you know how I feel about oh, China. Oh, shut up, Donald. What's with you today, man? You're just mad because they won't let you build another hotel over there. And he's just mad that Panda Express is actually an amazing place. Oh, and one thing with these chips, I don't like them because they're orange like Trump. Shut the hell up. I have more money than you. Now, I may not have half your paper, but I got twice the dick. And you can believe that. Ooh, he got you <laughs> that there. damn nigga. I can purchase your entire music catalog and still be a billionaire. Damn, this nigga always bringing money into all of this. Listen here, yeah, having half your money would be crazy, but for that, you need a 20-year-old's and a divorce lawyer. <laughs> no shot. Damn.
Nigga, you done fucked up. I'm not even going to respond to that since I can't understand and speak broke. That's what my grandchildren call me. <laughs> What's up, Pops? Did you take your Viagra pills yet? I have, you know, that it actually works down there even 80 years later, and I've piped down Melania countless times right here in the Oval Office on this very desk. I have my gaming setup the on. What did you say about her, you old shit? <laughs> yeah, all n****s are funny, but low-key Melania is kind of bad, bro. Not even going to lie, those foreign shawties can get it. I'm with my n****. A whiz on this one. Whenever Michelle ain't riding on this Volkswagen, she's Drake's and I's sneaky link. Don't tell him, but the other night ago, Melania was my sneaky link. We drank and Netflix and chilled, if you know what I mean. Melania? No really? way. Melania. No shot, Drake. Melania? Why am I hearing Melania's name? Who's talking about her? Unmute Drake, you cry, baby. Whatever. Fine. Now, what did you say about Melania? Aubrey. Yeah, I'm definitely not telling you now, loser. What in tarnation? We're all too old to be acting like a teenager. Keep talking down on Melania and I'll call in an AC-130 to your house. Ooh, don't get me started on Ivanka. Shawty looks like she can Shut get... Shut up, pothead. Uh, all right, I'm putting this on the good tier because fuck what Trump says. Have some respect, Cameron. Ha <laughs> ha, what an ugly ass name. That doesn't even suit you. The fuck did you just call me, nigga? Listen here, Donald the fucking duck. Your skin is the same color as that orange crush. And the only reason why Melania is with you is because she feels bad that you can't get any bitches. I also saw on TMZ how a fat ass was having trouble lifting a cup of water. For a billionaire, you'd think you'd be good with money. But this motherfucker didn't even pay his taxes and lost $16 million from all your goofy ass real estate businesses. And don't even get me started on uh, the 20 plus woman who accused you of I think I have to call 911 and report a homicide because goddamn you just put him six feet under <laughs> I am proud of you that's why I f with bro I hadn't seen that much disrespect since those kids in 1952 bullied me about my stutter back in school I haven't seen that much disrespect since that one time my private chef decided to serve me disgusting ass broccoli with my medium rare top sirloin steak Hey, Joey, let me ask you a question about those glasses. Well, what's your question, Barry? I know everything there is about... Did I ask? Wait, what? Did I ask? I still don't understand, Barack. What do Did you... I ask about your tacky-looking, swap-meat, Dollar General-looking ass glasses? Good one, Obama. Man, I need new friends. I don't know why I always get bullied. When I was 12 in 1954, I had the coolest lunchbox with a picture of a unicorn on it. The bullies thought it was girly and made fun of me. Little did they know, I had a pet unicorn named Luna, and she's tougher than any of them. 69 years later, I'm finally grown up, and I still have Luna, and she's magic. Are you serious, Joey? Really? A damn unicorn? What the f***? Nigga. I can't wait to see what other mythical creatures you'll bring to the White House next. Maybe a damn dragon to help with foreign policy or a flirty mermaid to handle environmental regulations? This ain't Harry fucking Potter. Sleepy Joe is unbelievably preposterous. I would have bullied you two back in school with my greaser gang. We had our hair slicked back with switchblades, taking all the lunch money we can get. Why do you think I'm a billionaire? I would have grabbed that girly lunchbox of yours and put cow manure Hell in it. Hell no, your gang sounds like a bunch of little bitches. My squad would have for sure jumped all of your greasy asses faster than you can bankrupt a casino. We were all on the basketball team getting faded hotboxing the choom wagon. I would have thrown my orange basketball right at your orange face, Donnie. Please, please. Can we stop with all of this bully talk? It's giving me PTSD. Oh, it's okay, Sleepy Joe. Your, your dementia will kick in soon, and you'll forget what we're talking about Whatever, anyways. you big fat bully. I'm texting someone to join that will actually give a damn about me and be nice. Oh, gosh. Who the hell did you invite yeah. this time? I'm not going to lie, Joe. Every time you invite someone, you kill the vibe more than Jar Jar Binks in The Phantom Menace. So please don't let it be some random. Don't worry, boys. He's more famous than all of us combined, and y'all are going to rock with I him. I don't believe that for a damn second. I swear, Joey, if it's... Hey, ho, Kermit the Frog here. I heard you were a big fan, Joey. How are you doing tonight? I'm terrible, Kermit. These bullies keep bullying me. No way you invited a frog to our Discord server? The hell? Joey, we're taking your perms away. You're no longer allowed to invite people, or even animals. Whatever the hell Kermit's supposed to be. I'm actually an amphibian for your information, and what did I do? I'm just here to chill. Just ignore them, Kermit. They are just mad because I'm the one in office and not them. The only reason you're in office right now is because they want you to feel special. And you're going to expire soon. I'll be taking back over in 2024. So don't you even worry about it, you old fart. I ordered over 300 cheeseburgers and many French fries on silver platters. Everyone enjoyed it, and I had plenty of leftovers for me. Wait, hold up. Did this nigga just say 300 fucking cheeseburgers? What in the actual flying fuck? What the hell, Donnie? 300? No wonder why you're built like an orange and look just like one. I gotta tell Georgie about this. Yeah, where's George anyways? I, I haven't heard from him in days. Did you guys not read the general chat in our server? George's wife said he's grounded. 
She said she found his vape and caught him rolling up a doobie. What the hell? George getting faded? Hell yeah, that's my nigga right there. Why is George getting grounded when he's 76 years old? He's a grown ass man. Your wife is strict with you too, Joey. Don't let me bring up that one time she took away your PlayStation 5 and hit it for a month. Shut up, fat ass. I'm going to call George right now. Hey, what's up, Joey? I just wanted to call and tell you that Donnie ordered over 300 damn cheeseburgers. Wait, did he order them right now? What in God's name? Who needs 300 cheeseburgers? I'm not surprised, honestly. Well, I'm not surprised that you were the worst president. No, not right now, and shut the heck up, office. Donald. George can't even hear you. Wait, what's Donnie even saying? Is he talking shit? Tell George that he should have told me he rolls up too. I'll definitely smoke him out. Yeah, Donnie's being Donnie, and Barry said that he'll smoke you out. No, the hell he can't. Listen to this. Oh, boy. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, he's coughing. This is gonna be easy. I thought your wife took your vape away. Yeah, she might have took my other vapes away, but I hid this one from her. Well, I just wanted to call and tell you that Donnie yet again makes another poor decision with his money. And Joey knows more right, about then. money than I do. I better I get going or else she'll hear me Pathetic. talking on the phone. She doesn't know that I found the spot where she hid everything, so I gotta go. What a sad life, getting grounded while being a senior citizen. Oh well, yeah, I invited someone to join the VC already. Who the hell did you invite? Um... Hey guys, I heard I'm going to help you all with a tier list. Oh God, it's this so-called licensed psychologist. Bro, get out of hey, here. Hey, I've had my license to practice since 1978. You know nothing about me. 1978? Holy crap, you're old as fuck. Yeah, no wonder why Joey invited you here. You guys are both dinosaurs. Shut up, bitch. You were born in 1946, and I was born four years later in 1950. We're basically the same age, you twat waffle. What the hell is a twat waffle? Damn, you really are older than me using words like that to roast people. Zip it, Joe. I came here to help with a damn tier list. Are we going to start with it or keep lollygagging around? Jesus. Yeah, whatever. Let's start this. It's more like swamp water mixed with ketchup. I, I don't know, Philip. Sounds like you have some experience with swamp water. What the hell did you just call me? Wait, his full name is Philip. Haha, <laughs> what a loser. Just wait till you hear his middle name. Calvin. Oh, why I ought to beat the bejesus out of you, politician punks. You can't beat shit, old man, but the McRib is awful. This was one of the only few items I, uh, I actually liked getting at McDonald's. My assistant uh, would always get me two of these after I did my show since it would always relieve stress. You sure as hell sound stressed trying to talk oh, about uh, this stupid chicken wrap. Damn, bro, are you good? You're stuttering more than Joey uh, over here during his uh, speeches. Oh, give him a break. He grew up with a stutter too, you nimwits. It's just since we brought up the McRap, it reminded me of one of my most stressful days on the show with this mom and kid. But eating the McRap after definitely did help a lot. Are you talking about the cash me outside girl? That was hilarious. Oh, I remember that. That little shit is what's wrong with America. The disrespect in these teenagers are absurd. She was disrespectful and hostile towards me, her mother, and even the damn audience, for Christ's sake. And all these hoes laughing like so funny. Did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes? Yeah. She's a demon, and I basically made her career since she went viral on my show. I haven't been the same man since. But you're a grown man, and she's just a kid. There's no way she was that bad. What's good about it? Well, I guess what's good for you is I made you just like how Oprah made you. You were nothing before I came on this show. Thank you for that. Oh, I'll tell you, she's a very troubled individual, and I hope she can turn her life around and make better choices. Then she can, in fact, cash me outside. How about that? I regret having ears. Hey Siri, how do I unhear a conversation? Honestly, yeah, you didn't need to say all that, but anyways. I don't care what anyone says in putting the Big Mac at God tier. Holy crap, what is this hostility in this Discord VC? I think you need to come on my show so we can talk things out and relieve your anger issues. You want me to come on your show? Are you kidding me, Phil? I've got better things to do than waste my time on your little talk show. Who's in this guy's oatmeal this morning? My God. Well, that's the problem right there, Don. You think everything's a waste of time. You need to learn how to appreciate the little things in life, like the weather, a warm hug from a family member, or a bubble bath, stuff like that. A bubble bath? I'm not a teenage girl. The only little thing I appreciate is my bank account, Phil. And let me tell you, it's huge. Huge, unlike that small dick of yours. Money can't buy happiness, Don, and it certainly can't buy you a healthy state of mind. I'm making America great again, Phil. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to make people's lives better, Don. Something you could stand to learn a thing or two about? Did you just say stand? How are you supposed to stand when you don't even have a foot? Didn't you cut it off that one time you were stuck in a bathroom with Shaquille O'Neal? This motherfucker is actually dumb. No, Joey, that was in a damn movie. Not real life, you dingus. Oh, Lord, that was back when my career was failing, back when I just told people to get real. I wasn't even a licensed psychologist. I was just an electrician. Him and Joey need to have some fun before they go. What are you talking about, Barack? I've always done 30 since I was a jit. 
I've been doing them way back then when I met Kermit back in World War I. Yeah, Barry. Joey and I have been doing this stuff since we were youngins in the 1900s. What are you on about? Shut up, you damn addicts. Uh, wait, guys, what Pop-Tart are we talking about again? Uh, I forgot. Joe, shut up. Your dementia is kicking your ass right now. I'm surprised you haven't fallen asleep. You serious? No way Joe fell asleep in VC again. Man, when will he stop? A nap sounds pretty nice right now, not gonna lie, fellas. Of course, his old ass fell asleep. Let's finish this before Joe wakes up and ruins this tier list. I had my regulars, like the- Shut up, George! Wow, George, you really made Joe fall asleep from your boring story. I'm just gonna disconnect him. Let's just let the man sleep for once. I'm still trying to pay off my college loans from 1965. I can barely afford to buy some ramen. There's no way you have it that bad, Joe. You're the goddamn president and you're broke? What kind of shit is that? You know, my college days were filled with canned beans and stale bread, so huh. I understand the struggle, Joey. Canned beans and stale bread? What a loser! Speaking of tuition, if any of you guys can be a good Samaritan and lend me a few million dollars for my college tuition, that would be very, very helpful. Uh, I'm sorry, Joey. Laura would get mad and probably ground me again if I gave out money like that. Joe. How are you going to be 80 years old still asking for help with your tuition? You shouldn't have wasted all your money on all those ice cream stands and vending machines in the damn White House. Oh, of course Sleepy Joe spends all his money on stupid ice cream. But you know what's the best part about all this, though? When I get elected and win in 2024, all those ice cream stands and vending machines in the White House will be all mine. No, 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 no. They are not going to be yours, you big fat piece of bacon. We all know I'm going to win, so shut it, you deformed mango. Joe, let's be real. You're not even going to make it to see the next election. You might want to start looking into nursing homes and bingo halls to spend the rest of your time here. Ooh, Ant-Man is next. He's very underrated and deserves more credit. Who? Who's that again? The disrespect is crazy, but it's understandable since that n is usually the size of an ant most of the time anyways. Yeah, the size of an ant just like Biden's d- Will you shut up, man? Don't give me that malarkey nonsense out of your mouth. No one wants to hear it. If you were in the MCU, you would be Hulk's fat orange cousin that just sits around and can't even run a mile to catch up to the Avengers. Damn, Joe, I didn't know you had it in you to roast someone like that. Guys, you need to be careful on this one. I sense a villain arc forming. Come on, guys, let's talk about how Ant-Man is actually a good hero. He can shrink anything to any size he wants. He can enter the quantum realm and essentially time travel, and he even talks to ants. What kind of power is talking to ants? The only thing he has in common with ants is that he can get stepped on and smashed like an ant by Thanos in a heartbeat. I mean, if he really wanted to, he could shrink small enough and go up Thanos's, you know what, then go back to regular size and kill Thanos instantly like that. Then he should have done that in the movie. It would have saved all of you guys so much time and headaches going through everything else. Yeah, that's a 1000 IQ move right there. Just imagine the amount of people that could have been saved. Since he... What's up, fellas? How we doing? Holy crap, is that the Drake? Oh my god, it's actually Drizzy, Joe. Uh... I love your music so much, man. I listen to it all yeah, the time. Yeah, man, I bought Take Care on vinyl. It had me in my feels. Ha <laughs> thank you, fellas. I wouldn't expect the presidents to fuck with my music like that. Will y'all niggas cool down? Drake's just like us, if not just as known as we are. Drake and I go way back. Hello, Aubrey. I see that you've come uninvited. Don't call me that, Mr. Trump. What's wrong with Aubrey? Isn't it your name, you twat? Yeah, but only my homies can call me that, and you're most certainly not my fucking homie. You may have the power with music, but I have the power to disconnect you from this VC, so pucker up and have some respect here, boy. Why are you acting like this, bro? Who hurt you? Shut up before I make you a second option to Melania. Cool it, boys. I don't want Drake to leave Yeah, us. shut the hell up, Donnie. I can't miss my once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to talk to Drizzy. Jesus Christ, you guys act like damn kids. Kids. I'm about to slap some sense into y'all. He doesn't even write his own music. It's all fake music, fake, fake, fake. Respectfully, Mr. Trump, but will you shut the fuck up? Bro, what just happened? You made him leave, Donnie, you ass. No, I just checked the audit log and he disconnected Drake. Wow, Obama, whose side are you on? Shut up before I disconnect you too. What the hell, man? Did someone disconnect me? Yeah, I'm sorry it was fat ass over here. He's a little moody today. It's probably that time of month for him right now. Haha, <laughs> you need a tampon, Mr. Trump? You know what, I'm muting you so I don't have to hear your stupid voice. Oh, Lord, just drop it and stop acting like a child, Donald. Hey, man, I'm just trying to chill with the homies and rank some Gatorades. I agree with Drake. Agree with Drake on what? Maybe if you didn't have him muted, you'd actually know what he's saying. Oh, wait, so he can't hear me right now? Yeah, he can't hear you. Don't tell him, but the other night ago, Melania was my sneaky link. We drank and Netflix and chilled, if you know what I mean. Melania? No way, really? Melania. No shot, Drake. Melania? Why am I hearing Melania's name? Who's talking about her? Unmute Drake, you cry, baby. Whatever. Fine. Now, what did you say about Melania? Aubrey? Yeah, I'm definitely not telling you now, loser. Enough. This is going to go back and forth forever. We have Melon to rank now. So now that we're done ranking Gatorades, can you get the hell out of here, Drake? Jeez, bro. Who's shitting your oatmeal this morning, old man? 
I disconnected him, bro. Let him be. All right, Drake, it was nice meeting you, but I have to run errands with my wife. Yeah, I think Laura made some dinner and it's ready. I'll see you boys later. Thank you for listening to my music, Mr. Presidents. I'll text you some unreleased tracks. Hell yeah. Let's go. It was nice catching up with you, bro. Let's chill some other time again. You want to play some zombies later on Origins? Sure, man, I'm down. Holy crap, is that the Drake? I've been wanting you in my podcast for the longest time. Uh... Huh? Uh, I gotta go walk my fish, bro. I just got here. What the hell, man? Hold on, boys, before we start. We have to let Joe in the VC. What do you mean I'm here? Yeah, dumbass. No, you fool. Joe Rogan, not Joe Biden. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that Joe. He's been emailing my assistants 24-7 about getting on his podcast. He just won't leave me alone. Rogan seems like a chill dude. I've listened to his podcast a handful of times and also remember seeing him on Fear Factor. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, there. how are you doing? I'm great, but I was so confused yesterday when Drake and Obama left me alone in VC. I've been wanting to have Drake on my podcast for the longest time. Well, maybe you shouldn't email our assistants all the damn time, and you'd actually have the people you want on your podcast. God damn, that's gotta hurt. Chill out, bro. He just got here. Donald, I thought we were. Hold on, right there, Baldy. Don't call me by my real name. Have some respect. I apologize, sir. I, I thought when we met at that UFC tournament, you had no problem with me. You said I was doing a great job with my podcast, and I even told you that. You have regular sized hands because the media kept saying you had below average baby hands. Wait a second. That was you who I met that one day? Yeah, you don't remember? I should have took a damn selfie with you just so I can DM it to you on Discord to prove it was me. Actually, I recognize your voice. My apologies, Joe. Who said my name? Not you, Sleepy Joe, the other Joe who doesn't sleep all the damn time. KFC is a classic. You can never go wrong with some fried chicken. I agree, bro. KFC fucking smacks. Back when I was a teenager, the Choom Gang and I used to roll up, get faded, then get three 12-piece buckets from KFC. Jesus Christ, man. That's a shit ton of chicken. How the hell did you all finish that? There is never too much chicken for Obama. Whoa, Donna, you're pushing it right there chill out shut up donald you know for a fact your fat ass would eat all 36 pieces of chicken in one setting 36 pieces of chicken from kfc is just outlandish but kfc is busting though i agree it's an easy family dinner that tastes wonderful it's going to god tier whatever donald keep eating those big macs and soon you'll end up looking like job of the hut that's uncalled for mr clean looking ass just wait and see what happens later as a matter of fact take this bitch what the hell, Donnie? Why'd you serve a deaf and mute Rogan? Yeah, I was f***ing with his vibe, man. He did nothing wrong. He needs to learn his lesson. He's not in control around here. I am! All I hear is crying and crying from your narcissistic ass. Cool it. Before I get the Discord mods on you. Yeah, you don't want me to ping them. They'll go ape shit on you and take your perms away. No! I need my perms, so I have the power. Fine. You know what? I'll undeafen Rogan and tell him what I need to say, but still keep his ass muted so he doesn't talk over me. Hey, bald boy, did you learn your lesson yet, or do you need to be kicked from my VC? Act up again, and I'll kick you from the server. Got it? He can't speak back to you, dumbass. I'll unmute him. You know what, Trump? I didn't really mind you at first, but you're an actual Nimrod, you f face. Wendy's is next up, fellas. What? I said Wendy's is next up, you old bag. Wendy's nuts in your face. Ha 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 ha. There's no shot. You said that Joe, and what the f*** was that laugh, you gremlin? Are you 12 or something? You're a grown man that's 80 years old. Come on now. Hey man, I thought it was funny. Me too, to be honest. Trump deserved that. All of you shut up. Wendy's is top notch, but not as good as McDonald's. People with no brain cells are still bringing business to this horrific establishment. So you are? Cool it, Rogan. We're almost done here. Arby's ain't that bad, guys. People crap on this place too much. You see, this is exactly why Melania is the best first lady to ever step into office. She may be a baddie in office, but her fashion sense is about as classy as a dollar store tiara. Yeah, not gonna lie, she has zero drip. And even though she may have been a model in the past, it's clear that she forgot to model a personality. What? What in tarnation, Barry? No way you just said Good that. Good heavens, Barack. Are you just gonna let that slide, Donald? Hell no, that shit will not slide in this server. Barack, the only reason you're even saying that about Melania is because you're jealous. Huh? Jealous of the fact that I have a gorgeous wife while you have a wife who looks like a damn linebacker. Ah, uh, hell and Let's no. not even get started on Michelle's horrendous dance moves. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Ooh, gotta get the popcorn ready. Really, guys? Who are you, Barack? Will Smith? You can't slap me or do shit since we're in Discord. Huh. Watch your mouth, Trump. I won't tolerate any disrespect towards my wife. Talk down on her one more time and I'll order 10 drone strikes to your damn house right now. All right, right, all right, now. easy there, fellas. Let's not start arguing already. We haven't even been in here that long. I want to see Trump and Obama in a boxing ring. And that peanut butter is way too much for me to handle. We're basically the same age, Joey. How can you not eat sweets often like me? Because Sleepy Joe over here was born in the damn 1800s. Actually, 
For your information, I was born in the 1700s. Get it right. Yeah, and you were probably one of the presidents to sign the Declaration of Independence. I wouldn't be surprised to see your kindergarten looking ass signature on there. Shut up, Barry. You shouldn't be talking with your bummy ass signature. It's so round for no reason and looks like two Donald Trumps combined together. We all know my signature is by far the best in American history. What even is your signature, Donnie? I can't even make out where the letters are. Your signature looks like a chimpanzee picked up a pen and started scribbling away. I'm not gonna lie, fellas, I think all of our signatures are pretty trash. Unlike these nutty bars, which are God tier. Bloody hell, what's this next abomination? Spin wheels? What kind of pitiful name is this for a pastry, eh? I've tasted better food in a hospital cafeteria. They're like the ugly stepchild of a cinnamon roll. Avoid this rubbish at all costs. Again, stop taking these snacks so seriously. Oh, here we go again with your don't take it seriously nonsense. I've seen better judgment in a fucking microwave. You wouldn't know a decent snack if it smacked you in the face. Just stick to your teleprompters, mate. Oh, please, spare me your temper tantrum, Ramsey. I'm not gonna waste my time arguing with someone who thinks they're the almighty food critic. Stick to shouting in the kitchen and leave the snack judgments to the professionals. Little Debbie, have you lost your bloody mind? These cosmic brownies are a cosmic disaster. They taste like they've been sitting on the shelf for a decade and made by a three-year-old with a sugar addiction. I think you lost your mind by thinking these are terrible. If you attempted to bake brownies, they'd taste like cardboard and be as dry as your wife. Okay, okay, stop, Donald. I've had enough of you acting like a damn child all day talking about all of our wives. Now get the fuck out of here, both of you. What? Hey, it feels so lonely in here now. Come on, Barry, stop being a party pooper. No, I've had enough of that. I'm putting cosmic brownies at God tier and that's it, I'm out. See ya, George. Wait, what?